What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Been talking about it, tweeting about it a lot. I'm pissed with um, Peter Shirelli right now. He's just sitting around, not doing it. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but there really doesn't appear to be a sense of urgency with him and I'm on improving this Boston Bruins team. I mean, going back six months to the draft, everyone knew Boychuk was getting traded. I don't know why he wasn't traded in June when you could have got the same assets you got back from in September. If you're not going to get roster players, get those draft picks in June. Open up some cap room. I would have amnestied Chris Kelly. I know Kelly hasn't played bad, but you know you can you can do better than Chris Kelly. I got news for you. Um, and you know, really in, replacing him isn't that big of a, isn't that hard of a task. Let's have a check. With that cap room, you could have been able to maybe get keep a Ginla around. Maybe you know work at you know look at a few other things. And then you're looking at. This summer is going to be a summer of hell for the Bruins. Dougie Hamilton's contract's up. Riley Smith, Tory Krug, McQuaid and Botowski. Now, I think McQuaid and Botowski are good as gone. They're both un unrestricted. Um, Botowski's, you know, not really a great NHL player. And McQuaid's been hurt a lot the last three, four years. So, all due respect to Darth Quader, he's out. And, uh, you know, it looks like Bot's out the door too. And then Krug and Smith were both dragged through the ringer this past summer. So they're going to want to get paid. And they should have gotten paid this past summer, but obviously that wasn't that big of a deal. It's the same lack of you know urgency and kind of complacency that you know Shirelli's been demonstrating the last six, seven months. It's like, you got to do something. You don't make a move for the sake of making a move, but you got to be more active than they've been. It's just this team isn't playing up to standards. And, you know, I know they've had injuries. char has been hurt. You know, Cranchy's been hurt. But, you know, they're better than this. You know, there's more talent there. Um, and, you know, some of it falls on Claude. I, I think he's mismanaging the forward lines. But fans to Claude, he's had to make do with what he has. And, um, you know, not having a, a bona fide, you know, star forward that can put the puck in the net consistently has obviously hurt them, as it would hurt most teams. Um, I don't think TJ Oshie's the way to go. Maybe a Vander Kane, but that would cost you a lot. Um, you know, you got to start looking at, you know, all these different, all these different, you know, circumstances and situations because it's like, you know, w what's next? What's that clear next step for this team? And I don't know what it is. I'm kind of at my wit's end with it. And, uh, you know, I would like to have seen Shirley be more active earlier. I mean, just sitting around. I know we get the roster freeze for Christmas. I'm aware of that. But still, you got to do more than this. You can't put this on the ice consistently and expect to compete in the NHL. You know, right now they're, they're not in the playoff picture. And, you know, for a team that has legitimate Stanley Cup aspirations year in and year out, I, I liken it, I call it the New England Patriots syndrome. Meaning, I think Belichick and Kraft have gotten so, are taking the team's success for granted in that they're trying to cut money, you know, not re-signing Wes Welker, um, you know, a year and a half ago. Uh, because, you know, Brady can offset the differences and, you know, you pocket the what you're saving money. Um, you know, I just think when you're so good for so long, you start taking it for granted, and you don't look at ways to keep, you know, put the best team out there consistently. And I'm not knocking the Patriots too badly. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl this year. I think this is the year Brady breaks through and gets his fourth ring for what it's worth. But you see where I'm coming from. You know, it's you got to be active. you got to start making moves. And, you know, you got to put the best team on the ice consistently. I don't think they're doing that. You know, I, I think there's some trades to be made, you know. Um, I would love to see them bring Kiki Handel home, but that doesn't address their, their scoring goals up front. You know, I think Arizona, they're talking like Arizona, Vancouver, and Edmonton. I'd like to see Taylor Hall come to them. It's going to cost you a lot. How much is worth it? You know, that's the question you should start asking yourself. I wouldn't give up Dougie Hamilton because Chara looks worse and worse. From all, he's first of all, he's 37 and a half years old, and he's, you know, not getting any younger, and he plays, you know, 25 to 30 minutes a night. That makes you slow down, you know, and I think Dougie Hamilton's the successor. He's looked amazing this season. I want to trade him for Taylor Hall. I want to trade him for anyone. I, I think, you know, you need a, a rock-solid force on the back end. So, you know, I want to get rid of him. As I'm kind of contradicting myself, saying, well, I'd make a, I want to make a trade, but I, this is what I want to trade. You know, I just think Shirelli's got to have clear parameters, and, you know, I'm not saying there's stuff going on, going on behind closed doors. We're not seeing anything. You know, we the boy Chuck trade... You know, the two draft picks are great, but it doesn't help the team now. You know, and that's, that's what you'd ask yourself. Unless he's going to flip those draft picks into something, and, you know, we haven't seen um, haven't seen that happen yet. So, we'll see what happens. You know, again, kind of just waiting on the other shooter to drop for this team. You know, I think there's still potential there to be a great team. I just think they need some tweaks, and I think the general manager needs to be more active. 
you know, that's my opinion of Spiro's team for now. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's our next episode of the Power Play with CJ on uh, Peter Shirelli needing a little bit more urgency. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.